may be battling with something in your body. God's keeping you while you're battling. You may be going through financially. God keeps you while you're going through financially. You may be going through mentally or physically or with family or with a job or a business. And sometimes the keeping power of God is God's timing in your life. Woo! Glory be to God. Isn't it good to know that God is a present help in the time of trouble? Hello, everyone. My name is Richard Dobbs. I'm pastor of Overcomers Christian Center. Thank you again for your continued support, financial support, prayer support, words of encouragement, just overall support of our ministry. We're so grateful for each and every one of you who continue to watch the videos, share the videos, and continue to pray for us as we share the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, today I want to come to you from the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 26. The book of John chapter 14 and verse 26, which reads as follows, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Based on that, I want to talk to you from this topic, the helper there to teach and help me to remember. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we're so grateful for your word today. And we pray that the word of God will minister to your precious people. We bind the enemy right now and cast them out. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your love that ministers to your people, Father. As we go through the word of God, these next few minutes, open up our hearts and our understanding to receive what thus saith the Lord. And we pray not only that, we'll take this word and apply it in our everyday life. In Jesus' name we pray. Let those that agree say amen. We know that the Holy Spirit will continue to teach us and help us to recall things that he has taught us. I truly believe that the instructions and the teaching of Jesus will not bring just a temporary relief, but a continuous flow of blessings and benefits in our lives. As the Holy Spirit begins to teach us and, and brings things back to our remembrance, and we take what we receive and apply it in our everyday life, we receive the blessings of the Lord, which makes one rich and adds no sorrow to it. We see the benefits of God. He loads us daily with benefits. We're receiving those on a day-by-day -day basis, and it's making our life better the more we apply his word. I don't know about you, but how many of us have ever experienced a come and help me moment, a moment in our life whether we were a child, a teenager, a young adult, or as an adult, or even as a Christian, where we say, Lord, come help me. See, those times when you're struggling with something, whether it's mentally, physically, financially, even spiritually, I can remember a number of days where I've asked God to help me during my particular situation. Sometimes he, it seemed like the help was immediate, and sometimes it took like, it seemed like God would never get here and help me in my circumstance and my situation. Not everyone who needs help realizes it, but I truly believe it takes a mature individual to ask for help at the appropriate time and accept God's response during that particular crisis. We have to accept what God says, what he does, when he does it, and the matter of help that he brings. Now, I can imagine as a parent sometimes when you hear your child call for help, scream, hey, mom, dad, help me. And as a parent, the number of a wide range of emotions 
can flood our mind. Can you imagine when a baby is crying in another room and that cry is a little bit different than the other cries? You know, you can have a number of emotions that go through your mind. You say, I got to go see what's wrong with my child. It seems like sometimes you can't get there fast enough. I remember sometimes when I would fall out in the yard, sometimes my mama would move, but sometimes she would come out there and say, hey, what's wrong with you? Because the cry was different than other times. And I've learned over the years, uh, walking with Christ, understanding uh, his word, understanding his ways, that God moves the way that he deems necessary in the situation. You don't believe me? Ask Daniel when he got to the lion's den. God did not move as fast as I thought he should. When the three Hebrew boys got thrown in the fiery furnace, God did not move as fast as what I thought he should. But the Lord is a present help in the time of need. He promises to be there to give us help in times of trouble. His idea of timely is probably not our idea of timely. You know, the Bible says his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Let's look quickly at Psalms 46 and verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help, a very present aid, a very present assistant and relief in trouble when adversity comes, when affliction comes, when distress comes times come. Jesus promises to be a very present or timely help in trouble. And we know a promise is synonymous with giving his word. He is a guarantee he's going to help us, but we must understand God's help and how he helps us and what his time means in our lives. Because again, you look at Daniel, you look at the three Hebrew boys in the Bible and you see that God's timing may not have been our timing, but he was their help. And sometimes I believe God helps us by just keeping us during while we're going through what we're going through. Oh, in that good news today, you may be battling with something in your body. God's keeping you while you're battling. You may be going through financially. God keeps you while you're going through financially. You may be going through mentally or physically or with family, or a job, or a business, and sometimes the keeping power of God is God's timing in your life. Woo! Glory be to God. Isn't it good to know that God is a present help in the time of trouble? Again, let's go back to our text today, John 14 and 26. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father was sent in my name. You notice that the helper and the Holy Spirit are synonymous. The helper is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, in my opinion, is the greatest helper the world will ever know. The Holy Spirit is our best helper. People may help us. Family may help us. Jobs may help us. Business may help us. People, others may help us. But nobody can help you like the Holy Spirit. And notice what the Holy Spirit is going to do. He's going to teach you all things. He's going to impart instruction. He's going to instill doctrine <clears throat> in all matters. And bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Whatever the Holy Spirit said to you, he's going to bring it back to our remembrance. So the helper is there to teach me, and the helper is there to bring things back to our remembrance. See, the Holy Spirit is a great helper. He is known as the one who is called by one side to bring aid and assistance. He aids us. He is our intercessor. He is the one who pleads a case to another. And sometimes he may not get you out of it, but he comes alongside of us and, and gives us health and gives us strength and gives us power in order to endure whatever we're dealing with right now. 
And I truly believe there's some people who are listening or watching me that the Holy Spirit is beside you right now, giving you strength, giving you power in order to endure what you're dealing with right now. Just like he's doing it for you, he's doing it for me as well. He gives us divine strength needed to undergo trial and persecution. Whatever we're dealing with in life, the helper or the Holy Spirit is there to teach us in our time of need, to instill doctrine, to impart information from the Word of God that's going to help us to endure into the end. The Holy Spirit can provide help even, even before we know that we even need help. Isn't it like the Holy Spirit to warn us of things to come? We find this in the book of John, chapter 16 and verse 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And the latter part, get this, my brother and my sister, he will tell you things to come. He will tell you things to come. The Holy Spirit will tell us things to come. The Holy Spirit will show us things to come. He may do it directly or indirectly, but the Holy Spirit prepares us for what is about to happen in our life. He prepares us spiritually as well as naturally through the Word of God. See, I need the helper to teach me and help me to remember what the Lord has promised in my life. When I'm dealing with everyday life, I need the Holy Spirit to remind me you're more than a conqueror. I need the Holy Spirit to remind me when I'm dealing with things in my body that by his strength, Stripes, I am healed. I need the Holy Spirit to remind me that I'm more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer, overcome by the blood of a lamb and the words of our testimony. I need the Holy Spirit to remind me when I need, when I have needs in my life, that my God shall supply every one of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I need the Holy Spirit to remind me that when I'm going through, that God is doing it exceedingly, abundantly above anything we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. I need the Holy Spirit to remind me that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pasture. He laid me beside the still water. I need the Holy Spirit to remind me that this is a day that the Lord has made. We will continue to rejoice and be glad. In it. I need the Holy Spirit to remind me that we're overcomers, we're more than conquerors. We got the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. I thank God that the Holy Spirit is there not only to teach me, to remind me of his word. The Holy Spirit is there to teach me and help me to remember. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your word today. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for the anointing that continues to destroy yokes and remove burns in our lives. We pray, Father, the Holy Spirit will continue to teach us all things, whether spiritually or naturally, and bring things back to our remembrance, whatever the Holy Spirit has told us. We thank you for, for, excuse me, for fulfilling your word in our life. And we love you for that, God. We give you glory and we thank you for every person who is listening or watching this particular video, that you will continue to work in their lives as well. You will help them to remember. You will help them, Father. You will teach and instill and impart the necessary information we need in order to carry out your will here on the earth. Father, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Well, again, my name is Richard Dobbs. Thank you again for watching this particular video. If you're ever in the Villarica area, come see us on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock a.m. Well, until next time, remember, without a vision, the people perish.